Hi guys, Chris Rollins here from Allwood Audubon and today we're going to draw an animal as old as the dinosaurs. That's right! We're going to draw a common snapping turtle. So grab your pencils, your markers, your crayons, your watercolors and join me for Art and Nature here at Allwood Audubon. The first thing we're going to do is put in our head, and our head's going to be, we're going to want our head right up here, oop, slide my paper, right up here in the top part of our picture. So I'm going to put in a couple nice eyes here, and to make them sort of round, but it's sort of nice to give them not a complete round shape. So there's one eye and I'm going to put its cheek in here and its cheek is going to be another circle half circle, well sort of a you know, circle so it's going to come around like that and then I'm going to put another little line here and then we're going to put one more up here and that's going to be the top part of the beak and I'm going to make that eye just a little bit bigger so I'm going to erase that take my brush I always brush out instead of using my hand because that smears our pencil we don't want to smear our pencil and I want that part of my beak to come up a little higher so there we go I'm going to take these out and you can arrange your picture however you want. There we go, brush that off. So we've got one half a circle here, we've got one half a circle here, we got a little circle there, and we got another big one right here, and that's going to be where the eyes are. So I'm going to put this coming in here and here goes his other eye his other eye is going to be right there now I'm going to put the back sort of the eyelid looking going over his eyes and I'm going to bring that out just a little further. That looks pretty good. We're going to make him a little cross-eyed. Now we can put in his beak. And I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to curve it in just a little more here. And then I'm going to bring it up, make sort of a V right here. V and then I'm going to come down and you can make his mouth go in whatever direction you want. I always like to curve my animals up at the end, make them happy animals. So there's our beak, but you know what? We need our little nostrils to breathe. So we're going to put in his little nostril right here and loop over top and we'll put one right on that side too all right now we need to put the back part of his head and the bottom of his mouth a little bit And snapping turtles sort of have that wrinkly neck. So we're going to give this guy this big wrinkly neck. There we 
kick that out. I'm making his neck a little bigger. That looks that looks pretty good. Now let's make the back part of his shell. Let's make his shell come in. So I'm gonna make his shell come down here. his shell come all the way over here and I'm going to bring it here I'm going to make his shell a little smaller since I made his head so much bigger Just making little loops for the bottom part of his shell. I'm going to connect those this way. There we go. Now, they have sort of that diamond shape to their back, so we're going to put some little like mountains. It's little scoots make these sort of mountains on the back of the common snapping turtle around here. So you can see all I'm doing, I'm making like little mountains. His shell is going to have all these little mountains in it. There we go. And we're going to put another row, another row of mountains back here for those shell. His mountain range shell, his carapace. Remember the top part of the shell, like we said in the turtle song this week, the top part's the carapace, the bottom's the plastron, and then we'll put his back right, the back part of his shell right back here. There we go. Now, to make this, sort of give this that 3D look, I'm going to curve these in a little bit. We're going to put little circles on the top, just like that, and then we're going to make little lines radiate out. Of the shell. And that's going to give us a little more of that 3D look. And we can round those tops out. We don't have to have them that spiky. I made those pretty spiky. Some of them. Take my little brush. Brush that away. If you've got an old brush, a nice dry brush, make sure it's dry. That way you, could, you don't have to worry about it's your hand smearing all the pencil lead when you erase something. So I'll put those on. There we go. So we've got the head and we've got the back of its shell. And we can go over some of these, make that a little darker. Now that we know we've got the shell the way we want it. Always do things lighter at first. I'm drawing things a little darker so that you'll be able to see them. But you always want things a little light at first. That way if you have to erase it, 
it'll erase. If you draw it really dark, it's hard to erase. All right, now I can go back and make these just a little darker. There we go. All right, let's get those legs in. So I'm going to put his first leg coming right here. And snapping turtles have these big, chunky legs. And unlike box turtles, their legs are, and everything can't be pulled into their shell like a lot of the turtles. So I'm going to put his like feet right here. And snapping turtles have those nice big claws. So we'll give him some claws. Little webbing behind between them. There we go. Put one more right over here. There we are. Now, I want to put these little wrinkles in because, like I said, they have sort of these wrinkly lines. in their shell, or in their legs. And I'm going to bring his neck coming down here. Put some more wrinkles in. I'm going to erase that right there. I'm going to bring that, make that neck a little thicker right there. I like these wrinkles. And they don't all have to be the same. Some of the wrinkles might be a little smaller, some might be a little bigger. Yeah, I don't like that line back there. Let's bring it down a little bit. And this is the fun part looking at lines and playing. Like I said, you don't want to draw it dark so you can't see it, but I think I'm going to bring that line, just a couple little wrinkly lines, right down in here. And up through here, we're going to have, here comes his shell, come right over there. And some Little lines, just some squigglies, give them a little. Yeah, looks good. Alright, let's put in that back leg over here. I'm going to have his tail coming right there. And we're going to bring his tail. I would have made him over a little more, but I think... That'll be good. Bring his tail up here. And then that back leg's going to come in. And I'm going to bring that back leg up a little more. How's your snapping turtle coming along? Put my brush there. I'm going to put his back leg coming in right about here. That looks like a good spot for it. Let's put in those claws. You got those big sharp claws there. So you can see I'm just making sort of like a curled ice cream cone for those claw shapes. And the top part of his leg. Yeah, 
And there's his foot. We'll have him on some mud right back in here. And then I'll put that tail in here. Just throwing in a couple lines here and there, giving him that nice look, almost that dinosaur look. And you can put as many lines in as you want. Those lines also help give, give it that rounded look. If you look here, I'm curving. I'm curving these to give it that rounded look. And I'm going to curve these around this way. Let me erase that so you can see them. I'll do those over again so you can see them better. Get them out of here. Use my brush. So I'm going to curve those lines. And you can even make those lines thick curves or thick then however you want to do it but it gives it see how that nice line if you curve it it makes it look like that whole area back here is round and that's what we want is that rounded look same thing on these I'm going to show you how I do this down here I'm going to put one more claw back here you can't see that one There we go. Gives it more definition to the foot. And so I'm going to put those lines in here. I'm going to put these curves. And if you look at how the curves are, that makes the foot look more, more rounded. We can even put a couple little curves right down here. That gives it that rounded look. We put a couple in here. Put one here, gives it more of that rounded look. There we are. Oh, now we got to get those back feet in. So we've got the two front feet. Now let's throw in that back foot. This one you're going to put a little further back. Here goes that claw. And we'll put another one right there. And I'm going to put one more there, and we'll bring his foot up. We're going to bring it up a little higher. That looks good. Looks like that one's sort of sticking out a little bit. I'm going to erase that. I think I put it up a little too high. There we go. I'm going to bring this foot down here a little bit. I'm going to stop my claws right about there. Then I'll put one of the claws. The claws coming around the back. Since he's on, on a bit of a slant there. And we'll put just a little bit of that back foot over on this side. You can't see a whole lot of it. Because we're going to have him on the bottom of the river here. There we go. 
We can put it. We could put rocks underneath here. He could be in the mud. He could be in the rocks. However you want to make your guy. Let's put let's put some rocks in here. A couple rocks there. Maybe a little mud. Put some vegetation in. So there's our snapping turtle. We can even put a little fish here if you want. We'll put a couple fish looking, just a couple little circles, and we're gonna. those lips of that fish. Have him looking up. in there. I think I'll make the tail. Make them a little thinner in the back here. There we go. And we, let's make those eyes bigger. We're going to give him, our fish, some big googly eyes. That's the fun thing about just drawing a picture just for fun. Never know what I'm going to do with it. This guy, we're going to give him some big eyes. Now you can put some, see how I did a little X's here, crossed it this way, crossed that way, and then I can curve them a little bit, that gives us an idea of where the scales on that fish are going to be. A little smaller back here. Don't have to put them all in. Just giving the idea, the impression. There we are. And we can put him, we can put him just sort of sneaking up in the water. Here's our water line. We'll make a nice little water line right here. And up on the top, maybe you've got some cattails up here. Some lines for cattails on the shore. Or, maybe you don't like them. I don't like that. I don't like it. We'll just leave, leave that open for right now.
Matter of fact, maybe we'll just maybe we'll just make him in the water, underneath the water. Put another fish up here. Let's get rid of that line. Let's put another fish in over here. Let's put him right here. Oop, I broke my lead. Broke my lug. We'll put our other fish here. put him at a different angle. So we're going to put this part here and then we'll put those fins. Sticking out here. I might have put that fin out too far. I think I put that fin a little too far out. There we go, that looks about right. Put his other fin right here. And we'll put that tail right there. Tail wouldn't go out that way. Go straight down. So you're not going to see a whole lot of his tail. There we go. His tail's going to be back here behind him. So we don't want the tail to stick out nearly as much of that as that big fish's face here. So I'm going to make that a little darker. There we go. those lines coming down. Now these scales are going to be a little different because his body's curving this way. And we don't have to put all the scales in. So I'm going to put that down like that. And I'll put in a few little scales right here. There we go. Just a couple of the scales. Put some little fish bubbles. We can give him some little bubbles. Alright. I think that looks pretty good. Let's color him in. So I'm just going to take my black pencil. I'll go over my lines.
we're going to do them in these colored pencils today. And I'm just going over the lines. Make those eyes nice and dark. Some of these lines I might not keep, so I won't go over them. I could just leave them. They'll be just a little lighter. Some of the lines we definitely are going to be keeping. There we are. Things looking good like that. I won't keep all those wrinkly lines in his neck. I'll put some of them in. Some of them I'm going to leave out. So just go over the lines. If you're doing this in color pencil or if you're doing it in crayon, just go over the lines that you, you want to keep. And the lines you don't, don't worry about. love to see snapping turtles. I've noticed out in the road there have been a lot, a lot of these. I've had to pull over a couple times and move a snapping turtle out of the road. You gotta be careful when if you do that. I'm not putting all of these as dark. These lines I'm just Putting in a little lighter so I'm not pushing down as hard. Of course I want his top part of the scoots a little darker so you can see it. Now these here in the front, I'm going to have these in the front darker because I want these to stick out a little more. That'll give it a little more of that 3D look. There we go, that's coming along. I'm going to make sure that neck is nice and dark. With those lines, I'm going to sharpen my pencil. All right, let's get this tail. I always find this so therapeutic. If I if things are getting stressed out a little bit, just draw an animal. You can draw it realistic looking or cartoony looking like our animals are here. But just have fun drawing. I like to sit there while we're watching TV and I might just do a little sketching of animals. One of these weeks I'll take out and we'll do a plein air um, painting where you go outside. My son and I have been doing quite a bit of that lately. Going out. Painting outside. Alright, let's go over some of these lines here. And if you don't want the dark lines around the outside to be black, you don't have to make them black. You can make them whatever color you want. You might want to make it dark brown or a dark green. I just thought I'd use the black. 
just for fun. Can put part of the other foot right back in there. Make this one nice and dark. This is the one in, in the foreground. This is his front foot, so you want this one a little darker. So I'm going to use my pen, my color pencils. Color them in a little bit, and uh, well, let's give him sort of that greenish color. I'm going to give him a little green. I'm going to mix some of my pencil colors together. So I'm going to get some greens, a couple of my greens out, and my beige and a little brown. I'm going to get a little brown in there. Maybe a little yellow. Yellowy orange. Okay. And we'll just start coloring him in. Just a little bit of color. I'm going to give him a little lighter down at the bottom here. Or a little darker. And if you don't have colored pencils, you can do this with crayon. whatever you've got. If you want to do it in watercolor, I know we've done them in watercolor in the past, some of our guys. Um, now I'm just putting in just at it here and there. I'm putting in a little bit of my dark. I'm going to put a little dark back here. Put some around his eyes. And I'll put some right underneath the mouth. A little, give it a little shadow. And you can come back if you decide you want to make it darker. You can come back and do that. And I'm going to put some shadow underneath here where the shell might stick out a little bit. Let's use a different green too. Let's see what happens if we mix some of these. And you can go in all kinds of zigzaggy patterns with the green colors. I like that. I might even put a little yellow in. I like how that green's coming out. I'm going to make it a little lighter here because they're a little darker at the bottom where the shading is and a little lighter at the top. Alright, now put some in here. I'm going to leave the edges just a little bit. because I'm going to put some of that yellow in. Let's put some yellow right up towards the top. I'm going to make that line nice and yellow. And we'll give a little bit more towards the top areas. Now 
That looks good. I like that. So find the colors that you like using. And once you get those, you can start putting them in, just coloring around it. You can make it different colors. You can put, we could put some purples in here or some blue if we want. Maybe we'll do that just for fun. I'll show you some of that. Now I'm coloring in some of my green into the yellow. I'm going to blend them in. show you guys how I do that. So I like those colors. That looks pretty neat. And we can even put in, we said, oh, we said we wanted to put a little purple or blue in here. Let's pull a blue in. That almost gives it purple blue. It gives it makes it darker if you start mixing some of those colors around. So if I mix my purples and my greens, or my blues and my greens, my darker ones, it gives it a darker shade. I can use a lighter blue too. Want to see what a lighter blue looks like? And that just makes sort of a darker green. It gives us a little shading. And that's sort of nice because he's in the water, so gives a little bit of that bluish tint. That's sort of a fun color to play with. And you can use all kinds of crayons or colors together. Put a little shading around his nostril. darker down there. A little shading down at the bottom here. I don't like that. And then if you go back and you say I want that a little darker, you can go back and do some spots a little darker. Put a little shading underneath its wrinkles to give it that three-dimensional look. Okay. Bring in some more of my green down here. So I can bring this green in. Color him in like this. Color that green in first. Sort of make my lines go in the direction of his skin, giving him that three-dimensional look. Now that back leg, I'm going to make that back leg a little darker. So that back leg, you see it in the background more. I'm gonna make this back leg a lot darker. I'm even gonna use some of my blue in that. Pull that in just like that. 
So you can see all I'm doing is just throwing in real quick dark green so that that back one's nice and dark but let it be a little light right at the top where the light might reach it. And then we'll put in some of that purple we put in. That was sort of fun. That gives it the dark green mix this together and it gives it a lot more shading just gives it a little color more of it down at the bottom where it's going to be darker a little less at the top and you can even throw in some of that blue like that. And we'll put just a little bit of the yellow right up here at the top where the right light's reaching it. And let's make those claws yellow. There we go. Alright. Let's put the shadowing in on this leg. Make it dark down at the bottom. and right around the sides of the claws just where you think the shadows would be and look at look at how light is when you're sh shining your lights look at where the shadows are created and that's what we're doing is just sort of trying to create that shadow just give it a little bit of that three-dimensional look a little bit underneath here and underneath this shell and right here you might make it a little darker so just look and you can move your pencil around, sort of squiggle it if you want, squiggle it around, give yourself that impression of lines. Use some of my dark purple right down there. If there are spots you want it darker, you might use your purple or blue. I try not to use my black for shading because things usually aren't black shaded, they're more of a gray shading. So if you mix some of your colors, you get some neat color ideas for shading. So we're using a purple. This is a violet. And I'm just putting a little bit of that in. And I'll put in some of my blue. My lighter blue. It says a marine blue. And you can add all kinds of colors you want. I'm putting in some of that color. And just right up here, right here at the top area, we're going to put some of that yellow just to give us the idea that's where that light's coming in. Put some in each of these right around the top that wrinkle. Give the impression of where that light's going to be coming. I like it. Oops, i got to sharpen my yellow. There we go. And you can curl that yellow out. That looks good. Maybe a little right there. Now I want to make his eye. We've done this in the past where we just put a little shadow. I'm just using a real light blue. And I'm just putting 
putting some in here, and that makes it look like his eyes sort of round too. And you can even take a white pencil, as soon as I find a white pencil, and you can blend get some of my pencils here. You can blend some of that blue in. I'm going to blend it in together with the white. That just sort of smooths it out. You can even do that with. You can blend in some of your stuff you can see there just like that there we go I take some of my white blend in some of the color together just going over some of my color and just sort of smooths it out a little bit picking my pencil sideways just sort of rubbing some of that color in together And you can see it just sort of gives it a different look. Sort of blends some of your colors together. You don't have to do it all over everything. I'm just putting in some, some areas where I just blend. Blend some of my color. experiment with your pencils. Find all the neat things you can do with your pencils or your crayons. There's so many things you can do when you blend your colors together using your crayons or your pencils. It gives it a different look. That's sort of fun. Alright, let's finish this back area. So we'll throw in some color back here. I'm just putting in a little bit of the green. And we'll throw in a little bit yellow at the top. Put a little bit of yellows. Let's put some in right here. Got to do those claws. Make sure it's claws. Are yellow. Bless you. Bless you. My little cat sneezed. Just a little bit. I'll sharpen my green pencil. Finish putting in my green over here. And some of the green in the back. Remember that back foot is going to be darker, so I'm going to put in my dark colors back here. Put in a little bit of my purple so that we see that back foot. Then I'm going to put a little more purple on this one too. You can go back once you have some colors you like. You can blend them in, make them a little darker if they need to be. I really like putting that purple in with the green. That looks good. Maybe I put a little more underneath here. Go back 
back over some of these spots. finish up this back. Put on my dark green, sharpen up my green. Now one thing you can do is put just a little on the edges, I'm going to take my other pencil here, just a little on the edges, you can go back and relieve some of that. Just take an eraser, I'm just doing this with my electric eraser, just so. that gives it more of that three-dimensional look. There's usually a little bit of light right at the edges of some things that are shadowed. Because of the light that's reflecting off the ground or whatever. You can see I'm almost using it as a pencil to smear and lighten some of my spots. That's sort of fun to do. rid of my marks with my brush. Don't want to smear. And then I can come back in those areas with a little bit of yellow. Lighten them up a little bit. Makes it stick out a little more. A little yellow, a little white. Just blend it in a little. I'm using my white to blend my colors together. It sort of smears the colors around. You don't have to do it with white. You could do it with another color as well. You could do it with a light green or a brown or a blue. I've got a beige one here. And use that a little bit. Just sort of smearing your colors. Alright, let's finish putting in the darks, the shadows for the tail. And a little darker underneath the shell. Just giving us that impression of shadow. And then a little behind those wrinkles. There we go. Okay, let's come in with a little more of my green. And we'll take a little of my yellow, start blending it in a little bit, getting some of those highlight areas. And then our purple for the darker shadowed areas.
Then we'll take a little bit of a blue, just like we did before. You want to keep the same colors. Make sure you keep track of what colors you're using. Don't want to keep mixing different ones. So I'm using the same blue and the same greens and the same purples all around. So if you got your crayon box or your color pencil box, and if you got lots of different colors in there, make sure you keep the colors that you're using separate so you don't get confused and start to have all kinds of kooky colors. Although you might want to have some rainbow color retort. That could look cool too. Put a look back here and I'm going to put these claws are a little darker because those and we can put a little shadowing underneath. And when you mix the blue and yellow together, you get a green, which is fun. Let's put a little yellow underneath the shell here. Now I'm going to blend it together <coughs> with my white. Remember how we used our white to blend a little bit? So I'm going to take the white, start at the highlight areas. Just going to blend it in a little bit. First in those highlight areas, I'm going to blend from the light into the dark. And then my dark end of my light. Alright, <clears throat> about time to work on that tail, or the uh, shell. Put in a little darker right here, just so we know that's shadowed. There we go. Just going back over some areas just so I know I've got my shadows in. I want to have my light areas and my dark areas. looking pretty good. I'm just adding a little bit of just a little bit of brown in here. Okay, let's put in the shell. Let's use let's use a light brown in our shell. We'll give them a little different colors. First, I'm just I'm not doing everything. Just going around those little spots. They look sort of like volcanoes, the tops of his shell. The carapace here and the little scoots. The scoots have that mountainy look like we've talked about, little volcano. And I'm doing them all in the same direction of the lines that are shooting out. I actually forgot to put 
to mind. Dark lines on those. I might have to come back and put some more. But that way, they're all in the same direction. And it gives, once again, it gives it the, more of that 3D look. And let's use, ooh, let's see, let's put a little orange in for fun. We'll put a little bit of the orange towards the front. This is where the light's going to shine. It's coming this way. So we'll put a little bit coming this way and then less. So you can see I'm putting it around the top and less. So some lines and less and less so that the back doesn't really have any. So this is going to have that. You might want to use different colors and that's fine. This is a darker, more of an orangey yellow I'm using. And we can do the same thing here. And here's what I'm doing. I'm doing a little bit and less and less. I'm going to do a little at the top, a little at the top, less and less. That's how I'm doing it in the brown areas. And I'll put the brown in now. And then I'll go back and put that brown through here. A little darker. There we go. Now this bottom, now that we can we can start darkening things a little bit, giving it a little more of that shadow. So a little darker in the back. A little darker in the back with your browns. Just press down a little harder. And we can even use <coughs> a darker brown back here. little darker just a little bit you don't want to go crazy with it you just want to put a little bit you just want people to know that that is the dark spot that's the shadowed area and down here right around the edge we'll put a little more And I can put a couple little lines here and there, just a little bit of dark, and you can see how that's making it look like these are a sort of diamond shape. Look a little more diamond shape. And we'll do the same here. We'll put a little bit of shadow down at the bottom area. Just like this.
now we can take our beige, this color, and instead of using white, I'm using my beige because his shell is going to be a little darker. And I'm just smearing the colors together, just blending them in. See how they're blending in? And then I can go back and make a couple spots darker if I need to. But this just sort of blends it in. I'm just going over everything. I'm going in sort of a circular pattern, blending my dark into my light and I'm blending my light into my dark. Doing that circular or zigzaggy pattern. It just sort of blends them together. Now I can go back with my dark and just put in a couple of those darker lines again. Just a little bit. Because the base sort of lightened them up a bit. dark for the contrast. So I want light and I want dark. There we go. That's looking pretty good. You can even put a little bit, if you want, of the purple in. I'm just putting it in some areas just for a little color. I like that. Then we can just put a little bit for the mud down here and the rock area. Just want to put it in so we know we can also create that shadow so that it looks like He's actually standing on stuff. And this you can zigzag it all over the place like that. And just underneath, we're going to put some of the darker color. So we can take a dark brown just underneath where his feet meet up. That's where the shadow is going to be. And all underneath here, since he's above this part, we're going to make this darker because that is the shadow he's casting on the ground from his body, from his shell. Underneath the claws, you want it dark. Underneath his legs, his feet, 
You want it dark just under these areas because that's where his shadow is. See how that makes him stick out more? some of that beige to sort of blend that in a little bit. A little more through there. I'm just sort of blending in some of the brown, just adding a little bit of color here. zigzag it around and then I'll make it a little lighter as I get to the top here. So I'm pressing down harder down below making my blue a little darker and at the top I'm getting lighter and lighter. We can even use the white up at the top so you can see I'm going less and less. Go around our fish. I'm going less. even make little patterns in the top less and less for how the water reflects and the light from the surface. If you're looking down below you see all those different areas of lights and dark as the water and the sunlight sort of move around with each other. Put this around our fish. Sharpen my pencil again. fish. Round our little, and we can even put some blue lines around our bubbles. We'll get to those in a minute. Take your time around your bubbles. There we go. Maybe a little darker right through here.
it's looking good. If you need a break, you can always walk away, come back and do your picture. down below. We're going, to use our, we're going to use our light, our white pencil to blend our blues in. At the end, we'll use it from our so, from the side just to blend our blues, like we did before. Get underneath our fish. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little darker. You can even make patterns in the back with the dark blue of like plants. Or go back with the green, mix it in with your blue. Make things of plants or logs or things that might be in the water. So I'm mixing my dark blue in now with my light blue. Just in the bottom area here. some of it up. Bring up just a little bit here. Pretty good. Now we're going to take our white. I'm going to sharpen my white and I'm going to use it at an angle like this and I'm just going to blend, blend that color in. Smooth it out and blend it in a little bit. See how that blends our blues together? makes it just a little more subtle. And you can do this with your crayons. Blend that together with your crayons. Take your white crayon over your blue and blend it in. Maybe next next time maybe we'll do one with crayons. I'll show you. And I'm just sort of zigzagging it around. Going in circles sometimes to smear my colors together. You can see the difference between here and here. 
and watch, I'll do it down here. You can see right here, I'll start right there so you can see. You see the difference in the color. So I'm just going to smear them in. edges. I get right around the edge of the turtle. Makes our turtle stand out more. So I'm going to go right, take the edge of my white pencil, right around the edge of our turtle. I'm going to do the same down here at the bottom. thing over here. Just take right around the edges. Blends him in a little bit. I'm pushing down pretty hard with my white pencil. If I push down hard it smears all those blues together and I'm going both directions to smear the blues and the whites together. So I want to go all directions. I'm not just going in one direction. I'm going to go all over the place, smearing those blues and whites together. You might have to sharpen your pencil a couple times when you're doing it because you're really pushing down. And you don't want to get a super sharp point because it'll just break. So I'm just sharpening my pencil about halfway. Same thing with your crayons. If you use the crayon sharpener, just sharpen it a, a little bit halfway. You don't want to sharpen it all the way or you'll break your crayon. And we'll get right around the top up here. I have a chipmunk out my window at one of the bird feeders chirping away. And Done with that, we can finish our fish. We have quite the picture this time, huh? Zigzagging around. said just blending that color in so that the turtle sticks out more than anybody. some of my turtle lines.
you might have to go over some of your lines just a little bit And at the end, just to make sure you don't lose them. Because when you blend your pencils together, it blends all those colors, and you might lose some of your lines. But you can just go right back over and get them. I might even want to make that just a little darker right back through here. That's what we're looking for. We don't want to lose our turtle. Just going over those lines real quick. And even add a second row of them if you want, it just sort of gives it that neat touch. And that smile. We want that big turtle smile. back here. There we go. There's our turtle. Let's get our fish. Call it a day. We'll just put a little orange and yellow indoor fish, maybe a little bit of blue just for fun. Sharpen up my yellow and my orange. Maybe throw some green in with them. So we'll put some brighter yellow, almost white light down to white down to here. So I'm going to put my lighter color in first, just like that. And I'm going to put some in the pectoral fins and the dorsal fin and all that stuff. We'll put a little uh, light and we'll see how this looks. And let's put a little bit darker orange in down here. Put some up to the top just for fun. A little darker right through there. I'm going to go back with my light yellow. over top of all that. Now I'm going to pick my white and smear that all together. And then we're going to put some green in. I'm going to take that, smear it all in. It looks good. Let's do Let's do it. Lips there and smear that in. That 
else. Good. Let's throw our green in. A little bit up here. It's almost a yellowy green. Just starting to blend it in. Just around the eye. Put just a little bit up in the dorsal. Some coming to the pectoral. There we go. And some of our darker green. I build my green slowly. And then we'll put in a little bit of the blue. So you can see we're putting that in. That looks nice. Let's put in some of our blue. I'm going to sharpen my blue. Blend some orange in with that. Fish a lot of times have this counter shading where they're darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. That way, if an animal's looking at them from the bottom, it blends in with the light of the sky, the light and art. And if there's an animal looking from the top, they see the dark, and that helps them blend in. I'm going to do a little darker green. Actually, maybe even a little darker blue. Let's use... It looks like a nice blue to use. Sort of muddying them up a little bit there. Good. Now I can actually take some of that out if I want. I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to erase just some of that. Just pull some out. Just like this. Watch this. Just going to lighten it just a little bit. My eraser actually smears some of it. And it lightens it up. See how that works? Pretty neat. And then I can go back in and put a little more of our blue. And then just take a little white up those middle areas that I erased. Let me take a little more of our orange. That looks pretty good. And You can see I'm pushing down really hard. If you push down hard, it gets into the nooks and crannies of your paper. And if you do it soft, you get the tooth of the paper. So you can do it however you like. And if you push down hard, it also blends all those colors together, which is what I really like to do. Now I'm going to make the eye. Remember how we put just a little bit of blue in that eye, just a little at the bottom, just like we did up here to give him a shading. I'm going to fix our turtle. We need it a little more blue. Yeah, right down there. There we go. So we want a little bit of blue right in the eye, right down here. 
just for the shade and I can bring a little of that blue in here too. A little blue there. Just for a little color and its fins. Now I'm going to take the white and I'm going to smear that blue up here, round it out a little bit. Alright, oh, we need to put a little bit of red. Let's put some red in here. Just to bring in a little color. Red in the mouth. That's nice, having a little bit of red in there. Sort of makes it pop a little bit, doesn't it? You can just put little bits here and there. You can see how I'm doing it. You can even put a little bit of red in our turtle if you want. Little spots here and there. Like that. Sort of fun. Okay, now let's go over. This is going to be fun. Let's go over our lines of our fish. Now don't push down hard like I did. I just broke my lead, but that's okay. That's okay. This is so exciting. This is so much fun. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. I sure am. Putting in the lines. That'll just help it stick out a little more. You don't have to go all the way down since you've already got lines with the color. You just might want to just sort of emphasize the fins. You might have a dark at the beginning and light at the edges because the fins are sort of delicate. Just like that dark and light, dark and light. And then just a little bit. That one's in the back. You can't hardly see that one. You could even put a little purple back there. Maybe we'll do that. Since that's behind. Now we can put in a couple of its gills. Remember how we did that. Just put in a couple lines like that. Putting in a couple of the scale lines. Now that looks pretty good. Okay, let's do the same thing for our last fish over here. I like those colors. This came out pretty nice. So we're going to start with the yellow, like we did before. So we'll put in our yellow almost over the whole fish. Really, if you think about it, we're putting it in all over here. It's fins and then a little more of our orange right through here. Let's try this one a little different. We won't do the orange all the way up. We can actually start our green. Let's put some of our green. I'm using my real light, my yellowy green up here to go into the orange. And I'm making sort of stripes. You see like bluegill and things like that.
bluebills. All right, now I'm going to use my darker green. We're going to blend all these together, remember. So we're putting that in a little bit up here. Right around his head, right around his eyeballs. Where's my dark? There's my darker green. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my blue, blend that in with it. And then I'm going to take my darkest green that I'm going to put in over top of that blue. There's my darkest green that I'll put in just a little bit right up at the top here, giving us a nice counter shade. Now I can go back with my yellow. I'm going to blend those in. I'm going to pull that down, blend those in. Maybe bring in a little more of my lighter green. Now I'm going to bring some of that orange in, back in. Brush out, because the more I push down, I start to get some of my colors in there. Let's bring some more of the orange right down through here. Bring some up into the greens. You mix that green and orange together, you get sort of a brownish color. Or yellow, and then we can take our white, blend that in a little bit. There we go, blend that in. You can even blend a little bit of your blue from your water into it to give it sort of that look like it's meshed right with the water. Get that water nice and blended around it. Blend some of it in with my fish there. Circle smooth that out. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's just put a little bit more of the darker blue up here. Put us a little gill in, a little blue gill. And a 
little bit of that darker blue right there with the bluegills. Made that too dark there. to work all around my picture. There we go. And let's bring in a bit of that red. and fins here. Maybe bring in a little more red. I like that red in there. Okay, just a few more things here. Get the little bit of light blue in the eye. Smear that in with our white. Gotta clean my white pencil off. It's got a little green in it. All right, we can start putting in our lines now. Make sure your pencil is pretty sharp. Don't push down hard and break the lid. Like I. So I'll put in little pupils looking right up at the Snapping turtle. These guys must be buds though because see that oh broke my lead again. How many times am I gonna do that? I keep telling you guys don't push down hard. And I push down hard. Smile. Put a little blue in there. Give him a little shadow. So, put our last lines in. For our fins. my picture. All right, we'll put in some, put in a couple of our scales. 
We're just putting in a few scales. And you can see I don't make them overlap. Just putting in a hint of the scales. put a little on our ear bubbles just taking the purple going around my ear bubbles a little bit because those are sort of fun they add a little bit to it and you can put a little blue underneath your air bubble just like that to give it that three-dimensional look sort of like we did with the eyes just putting a little but I'm leaving as you can see I'm leaving a little white underneath Do you see how I leave a little white underneath for the reflection and that gives it that three-dimensional look just that shadow so you don't want it to touch down at the bottom I'm gonna just put that little Point right above. You can even put just a little dark blue underneath that lighter blue, just like that. It's all those little details, those little teeny weeny things that make a big difference. I think we got our picture. Last thing we need to do, oh, I'm going to put just a little bit in his lip, just a little shading right in there. And of course we need to sign our picture. Always sign your picture. The problem is I don't want to finish. I want to just keep having fun with our picture. I'm going to put a little bit of blue back here. In a shell. Sometimes it's fun to just throw a splash of color. Actually, I'm going to put a little green, just a little bit of green, in the shell too. That blue and green looks really nice. As you can see, I'm just adding some green onto that brown. Just in the back area, the shadowed areas. And a little bit down in here. We got him. Let's sign our name. And we've got our picture. Looks pretty nice, guys. I hope you had fun. I can't wait to see yours. Keep painting. Keep enjoying art and nature. The more you explore, the more you'll find out how wonderful our world is. So we'll be seeing you guys soon at Allwood.